Hey everyone, in this quick video, I'll show you how to contribute to our open source project by adding your own English learning resource. It's super easy and you don't need to code, just follow my step. First, go to our repository, I'll link it in the description, or you can jump to our site. Click at the contribute button at the top bar, and here we go, you direct to our open English resource. Now click for button in the top right corner. In this case, it's my old repository, so I can fork it. But you will not, so you can fork it. With the fork, you can make it a copy of the project on your old GitHub account, and you can edit it in your code space. All right, let's open the project on GitHub code spaces. So you can edit and divide directly in your browser. Click at the code here. Create a new spaces. In this case, I have my old spaces. Click at it. And here it goes. Wait for a few seconds and GitHub will generate a space for you. Here it goes. It's time to add your resource, right? Uh, and it also asks you, do you want to install the recommend Astro extension from Astro for this repository? All right, click install button and trust publisher and install. Make sure you install it because this project is created by Astro. Okay. Click at the Advice Explorer here. Now read the contributing. Um, follow the contributing. Uh, it's time to add a new resource because you using code space and no need to create a new branch, right? Click at the contributing guy here. All right. In this case, we now have to navigate to the source content resources directory. Where is it? Here. And the content here and the resources here. You can see all the resources are JSON files. Follow this template. Okay. So cl click at it. Uh, create a new file, right? And name it with the resource you want to add to our project. In this case, I have a resource here. Uh, the query, right? Uh, I will add a new resource. Like type query, right? Dot JSON. Here we go. A new file, new JSON file. Follow this template. Title, description, URL, image, category, task, and is this free or not? Or you can follow this and fill with your resource information. All right, in my case, come from taskbar. I'll copy it and paste it here. Make sure your title, description, and URL are correct. And the category must match one of the category under this section. Right. In my case, the category is words and spelling. Look at this. Um, words and and spelling is one of the category in category sections. And for the task, um, you want to add many tasks, whatever you want. It does affect our program. And make sure your resource must be free. Okay. And about the image, 
just jump to the resource page. In this case, I have the resource page here. It's equipped. Um, take a screenshot. I'm using Firefox, so I can take a screenshot easily. So I will take a screenshot like this, right? Hmm. Uh, what about this K? Okay, we just copy it. Jump back to uh, our public, right? Click at the images folder here. Ch inside the resources. Um, copy and paste the new image here. We the new image we just copy and rename it. Um, all right, so I got something I can't rename. Right? All right, maybe it's, um, I'm recording this video and it's hard to click um, by the mouse. Right, I will press F two to rename this file. So I will rename this crew right PNGs and jump back to our crew JSONs to make sure the the name but match. All right, the name will match. Okay, click at the source controls icon. Type a new message like add a new resource. Uh, with name crew right and then commit yes click yes and sync changes all right and that's it our team will review your submissions and once approved your resource will be live on our products. Okay, you can see what's and spelling the crew. Oh, now it's it live on our products. And yeah, just so for today's video. Thanks for contributing and helping Vietnamese learners improve their English. If you have any questions, drop a comment or open an issues on GitHub. See you guys next time. Bye.